Hi, I'm Juliana Hever, and this is the What Would Juliana Do Q&A. Today's question is, how important is it to buy organic? Let's talk about the benefits of organic food. First of all, organic farming is significantly better for the environment than is conventional farming. Organic farming uses sustainable, renewable methods that honors the integrity of the soil. Conventional farming uses synthetic fertilizers, chemical pesticides, sewage sludge, ionizing radiation, and bioengineering. Second of all, organic food may very well be better for human health because you're minimizing your exposure to all of those aforementioned toxins. And because the soil quality is so much better, the nutrients in the produce, the products are, are better. There's more nutrients that you'll find in that food that comes from organic foods. Third, with respect to the non-produce items that you would get at the supermarket, the only way to guarantee you're not getting genetically modified food ingredients is to buy organic, or if it says uh, non-GMO on the label. What are the negatives of organic food? I can only come up with two. One is it is more expensive. It does cost more. And second of all, it's not always available. It's just harder to, to find organic foods depending on where you're located and, and where you're getting your food from. So what's a savvy consumer to do? Here are my three strategies for navigating the organic versus conventional world. Number one, prioritize. The foods that you eat the most of may, you know, it may be better to pick organic because the dose makes the poison. Also, the foods that you're going to eat the outside of, like the zest of a citrus or the peel of an apple, you know, the, the pesticides tend to reside on the surface area, so it might be best to opt for organic and those foods too. And then the foods that are pretty much guaranteed to be genetically modified if you don't buy organic, like soy, you know, if you're buying edamame or soy milk or tofu and tempeh or corn products like corn tortillas or frozen corn, those almost most likely will be genetically modified if you don't buy organic. So you might want to prioritize there as well. My second strategy is to shop at your local farmer's market. You know, it costs a lot of money and takes a lot of time to become certified organic. So a lot of farmers are either in the process or they're simply just not spraying their produce. So, you know, you're getting, you're getting pesticide free or reduced pesticide content for a better price. So it's definitely a step up from conventional and it's, it's better than organic in terms of saving money, which is very important. And my final strategy is keep it in context. There was a fabulous study that came out in 2012, and it was basically a meta-analysis looking at you know, the risks versus the benefits of consuming conventionally grown produce. And basically, they looked at what if half of Americans consumed one more serving of fruit and one more serving of vegetables a day? What would happen? And what they calculated was about 20,000 cancer diagnoses could be prevented by increasing fruits and vegetable servings by one each a day versus 10 deaths that could be associated with exposure to pesticides. 20,000 versus 10. So that to me puts it in perspective that the most important bottom line here is eat your fruits and vegetables, whether or not it's organic. If you have a question you'd like answered, or if you're interested in nutrition counseling, visit me online at www.plantbaseddietitian.com, on Facebook as Plant Based Dietitian, and on Twitter as at Plant Dietitian. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.